Hi, Rumians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to another episode of Rumi's Claws in our Wildermyth series. So in the last episode, I talked about the names of my characters and how I'm pre-recording several episodes because of uh, busy times at work. Um, so I, I decided to go about it a different way. I asked you on Twitter and Discord if you could give me suggestions for these four characters. Now, if you are not following me on Twitter or if you're not on Discord, then you have missed that, I'm aware. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and join the Discord channel. <laughs> I'm being horrible. Uh, I'll, I'll include the, uh, the invite link to Discord below. If you have missed it and you're like, ah, oh, dang it, I had a really, really good suggestion, please still feel free to let me know, because there will be more characters in this series, and I'm very, very happy to follow your suggestions for those characters. Now, let's, let's go over the new names for our characters. Now, this was Samil. He is now called Menti Twerkbottom. <laughs> I, I, I have a, I'm personally favoriting this name. I love it. It's great. He's still a goofish hothead. And I know that Menturius is actually blonde, but you know what? It fits. Anyway. Then we have Ilona Greenshield, which is a... Um, I, I took two different suggestions and I put them together. So this is a reference to No Pro Player, who is awesome, by the way. Go check her out. Then we have Martha Arrowmore, another name I really, really, really like. So uh, we uh, welcome Martha Arrowmore. She's still the poetical loner, of course. Now, I thought that you guys were already level two. I'm a little confused, but anyway. And then we have, oh no, they weren't. Then we have Matthew, still called Pip, Percy. So we can either call him Matthew, Matt, or Pip, still. And uh, I really like that name too. Um, the, the person who suggested it said he looked a little bit like Matt Mercer. So it's a, it's a bit of a, you know, a construct based around that name. So these are our four characters, and uh, and let's get on with it. So let's secure Brightvale Watermill. Now we have 11 days until the incursion, and securing this site will take. Oh, it depends on what we want to do. Depends on what we want to do. But I think we should investigate thoroughly this one as well. It's 28 days. It's gonna go over the incursion, but it's. I think it's gonna pause this. I think. Until when the incursion comes... Yes. Uh, there is an enemy army on the march. You can cancel that for five legacy points. Currently, I don't want to do that because... The cards in the deck are not that strong that I'm like, oh, I don't want to fight anything. And it would be fun to, to show this to you. So I'm going to have them arrive. And they are, oh, they're actually coming here to Brightfield Watermill. See? So that's good. We don't have to go back here. Oh, that's great. Okay, so let's continue securing this site. There we go. Site safe and knowledge gained just before they arrive. So let's see what happens. Oh, this is a new one. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Brightfield Watermill has proven rewarding. And we have... Uh, Ilona saying, and now it's on to the next challenge. Three heartwoods, very useful, very useful. I think we're making staffs and stuff, or staves. I don't, I don't know what you want to call them. Now we found a tiger shard cloak, which is good for melee and range accuracy. Huh. Now the only, the only one who actually has ranged weapons is Martha Aramore, and sometimes it might happen that she will have to do a melee attack. So I'm gonna give this cloak to her. Look at how awesome she's going to look with that. Woo! Gotta take a screenshot of that. Woo! I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Dismiss that. It's a little annoying that it uh, that this happens. Now, what we can try to do, I don't know if we'll be on time, but we can try to organize defenses here, which is another thing you can do with an incursion. Or, anyway, even if there's no incursion, you can organize defenses and have them ready. How shall we defend Camp Top if our foes attack? This is where they come through. It's a good spot. Lots to work with. Good visibility. 
So we can follow any of our characters' suggestions. Ilona says we'll build barricades to, the, to concentrate the enemy, or we'll train and equip local archers to assist. Martha says we'll prepare hidden traps. And Pip says we'll enchant the battlefield to convince it to take our side. Or have Ilona apparently be like, eh, we don't have time right now. So I see that uh, Menti has no opinion on the matter. Mm, we'll train and equip local archers to assist. Four days. Let's see if it's on time before they come. It is. Very good. Very good. Now, I do want to stay here and defend this. So what I'm going to do is actually have time progress. Whoa, that's a lot of days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this not coming? Why is it not coming? Does it not... Oh, 19 days. Okay, go. 19 days. They'll, they'll be here, the Mortha guy. There we go. Incursion. The Mortha guy army will be here soon. Let's make sure we are we agree on our strategy, says Menti. Stand tall, sound the horns, put fear into their hearts. 61% chance of success. Uh, Martha says, sneak ahead and harass them before they arrive. 65% chance. Matthew says, I'll brew a mystic drink to bolster our abilities, but that's only a 49% success chance. Or, nothing clever, nothing to go wrong. Well, let's go with the highest chance. Sneak ahead and harass them. Just a little closer. One more step. Whoosh. They never saw me coming. Okay, so they should be weaker. All heroes flanking attacks this combat deal one damage extra. That's what we get as a modifier. We have a weldling and a pump. And we need to survive for eight turns. That is our objective. So let's actually take... Menti first and have him go here. See if that reveals any foes. No, it does not. Let's go here with him. Ilona is going to follow him and link up. There we go. Martha is going to stand behind them. And, uh, ooh, volley of arrows. Right. Oh, that's the local archer thing. They're supporting you. Tell them where to focus their fire. Okay. They can fire once every other turn. Yeah, but we haven't revealed any, um, any enemies net yet. Now we can also do Silk Step with her, which um, allows her to slip into Gray Plane, which means that she's hidden to enemy units while there, and and she's m able to move around and take advantage of surprise attacks. So actually, what I'm going to do is put her here, and she'll be hidden. And then we'll put Matthew here and have him interfuse with this stuff for a Splinter Blast option, and interfuse with with that tree. I don't know if it's going to be useful, but we'll see. Okay, that's the sommelier who's arriving, and the weldling. We also have a spectic coming in, too, actually, I think, with armor and warding abilities. Now, let's see if he can do the... No, they're too far away. Wild grasp is possible. Let's try it. Oh, that actually makes him come closer. I should have read what I'm doing. Ilona, you can go and attack him. There we go. Martha could actually kill him with a shot, but... But, but, but... I could have her... Let's have her go here. We'll use Menti first to go around. That's just gonna use up one action point and kill this thing. Good job, Menti. Now the question is, do we want to reveal Martha by attacking the sommelier? I actually don't think so. I don't think so. So let's let's wait with her. Okay, that's the two spec decks. Now she can attack. Ooh, that hurt Matt. Oh dear. Okay. Is there watchman coming? Okay, Martha. You can almost completely kill the sommelier in one. Oh no! Really? Okay. We can use the Volley of Arrows on this thing. Fire at will! Pew, pew, pew. Well then, that spec did, did, did block it, but that one did not. Okay, um... Splinter Blast, can you use that? No, you can't. We can use Wild Grasp on him. 
We need to kill him. Ah! Because he's going to kill Matthew. We can't have that happening. That is not okay. We need to protect him. Do not dodge. Good girl, Ilona. Good girl. Okay. The Watchman is coming. Whatever we do, we need to protect- Oh, dear. Do not- do Oh, man. We can't kill- We can't lose Matthew. Okay. Spectic. Shoot him. Good job. Matthew, you have to move back just a little bit so that that watchman can't hurt you. And you could, you can't even splinter blast now. You can wild grasp though. Kill him. Good job. Then Menti is going to come and hurt that spectic. But apparently not kill it. Uh, there's a tree here so he can't go around. But Ilona can come and kill it. There we go. We have how many turns left to survive? Turn four. We're at turn four. Okay. Ooh, she's she, ooh, she has very, very, uh, very. She's very squishy too. Let's use a uh, rain death. Boom. Okay. Um. He can't, he can't even come and kill them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Guardian on him and we're gonna use Sentinel on Ilona and we're gonna move Martha back too, actually. Or we can put her in Silk Step, then she's gonna be invisible. Then they won't be able to attack her at all. Okay. So you interfuse with... Can you interfuse with anything useful? Apparently not. <laughs> He's interfused with that tree. I want him to do something useful, though. But that's too far away, I suppose. Well, let's have you interfuse with those rocks. But you can't use them. Um, and I'll have you withdraw just a little bit further so you can wait there. Okay, turn five. Yeah, these. Oh, wow. That watchman does a lot of damage. Okay, so I, I do think we need to attack with all of them, otherwise, we're gonna die. Or we withdraw, but no. We're not chickens. Let's see if we can kill something. Menti. Come link up with her. Good job. Martha. Okay, come here. Hopefully. Good job. Okay, one of them is dead. Yeah, we, we need you, man. We need you. Please don't attack them. Please don't kill them. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we can use Volley of Arrows. Ooh, that's gonna be painful. No, we can't. We cannot use Volley of Arrows. Because it's gonna hurt Menti. We don't want to hurt Menti. We can use Discus. No, we can use Splinter Blood. No. Dude. Dude! Okay, let's use Martha. Let's have her shoot. Dang it. Okay. Um... Menti is going to come hmm. Yeah, come here. And attack. Okay, good job. Then Ilona is going to come here. Good job. Now, if only we could... If only we could... Okay, that will not hurt them. Fire at will. Good, he's nearly dead. Um... And now if we just go next to him, he has that indignance and that will kill the watchman. Good job, good job. Yes! We won! 
Okay, Menti has leveled up. He's now level two. So he's a Bloodhorn Warrior. We can choose Long Reach. Menti is one range with all attacks and abilities. That's useful. Vigilance. His heightened senses allow him to perform infinite reaction strikes per turn. I like that. Or Aid. He uses an action to heal an adjacent target for two plus level once per combat. Ooh, yes. We found an Illuminating Oaken Cane. That's a wand. So I guess it should go to Pip. Matthew, and replace the soup spoon. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Better damage. Yeah. Good potency. Do it. We also found the knee pad of grace, plus five dodge. Ooh, okay, Menti does already have knee pad, so we'll give it to Ilona. Yeah, her dodge is not that great. Good job. Yeah, that looks good. Makes you proud, doesn't it? They couldn't even touch us. <laughs> Martha's like, uh, actually, I'm, I'm hurting quite a bit. It was only one battle. There will be more. Oh, Martha. They then keep worrying. But don't take these victories for granted. Okay. So we have secured Brightvale Watermill. Um, both Matthew and Martha and Minty, actually. So all three are, are quite badly hurt. But we have to... When, when we travel to Denwild, hopefully that will heal them up quite nicely. Let's go and scout. It's only 11 days, though, to get there. Yeah, they're not really healing that much. Silences. Hmm. 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 <laughs> it's like, what? Ah, this is pretty, though. <laughs> Took a screenshot. Hmm? Martha, you're being weird again. Fools build houses out of words. Hmm. The wise make solider things. Sometimes I like to watch places change. It takes weeks of rain. Wind. Sun. Silence. Once I saw an elk move itself from the path of a falling tree. Great wonders live in silences. Yes, and as many moments they might visit your day, it look if it looks like home to them. Oh, and as moments they might visit your day. So, at times, I stay silent and watch a place change. I hope you're not bothered. She's our poetical loner. She's just like, ugh. Uh. <laughs> or we can have her say bothered. Nah, you do you, Martha. I think that that is what Ilona would say. Hmm. Hmm. Plus 25 charisma for Ilona. Good job. I hope we can build a station here to earn resources. Cost one legacy point. Let's do it. I've never done that before. It's good, honest work. Should we lend a hand? The townlings of Bladebog have been dreaming of building a new tr threshery out here, or a lumberyard. The wild folk want to restore the woodland altar. Okay. So, let's see. We already have some heartwood. Hides and spell thread sounds like we, something we don't have, but fabrics, I don't think we have at all. I do know we have spell threads. But we also have heartwoods, three of those. So let's, just, let's go for hides and spell threads. Actually, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. One legacy point being spent on this, but it allows them to heal, which is important. Okay, we have dedicated a primal altar. Good, still an altar. Let's see, um, can we see what we, what, what, what this has? No, I, I don't know how to... Wait, C. It does say C, so that's why I'm doing C. But that does not work. I guess you need to know what the icons mean. I guess this is spell threads. I don't know what this is. These are hides. Heartwood was this. So what is that? Oh well. Anyway, 
Um, I think we should go to Sparks Mire. Don't you? This is where we have to go eventually. Oh, but we need to build a pass first. So... We can either build one pass and go there straight away. Hmm. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna do the whole thing. I can turn these arms to road making if others will join me. We'll see it done. Okay. Let's get started. Fifty-seven days. Whoa. Whoa. Well, let's do it anyway. That's a long time. We have uh, Calamity cards. Morthagai. Plus one armor and warding for the sommelier. They die quickly, so that's okay with me. Uh, the Gorgons have a new card. Rachel Stampede, that's okay. The Morthagai have a new card as well. Batchby. Looks scary. And then the Thrixel have an enhancement for the Thrusk. Plus one range on all attacks. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's leave them in. Maybe at some point we'll start canceling on it. I don't know. Let's continue. Yeah, I'm worried about that incursion, though. This is taking forever. And if the incursion is all the way back there, we're going to have a problem. Well, let's see. They're all recovered. Menti and Matthew and Ilona and Men Matthew or Amenti are confidants. Let's see what that means. Let's see. Relationships. Okay, so it's just, they're just better friends now. That's good. Menti and Martha don't, don't seem to like each other very much. Um, so Martha and Matt are still flames. Nothing else. Nothing more, though, yet. You go scout Sparks Meyer. It's infested. We know that. So, let's patrol. Oh, man. That incursion, though. That incursion! Okay. It's been cleared of infestation, so... We can assault that in the next turn. Or in the, in the next episode, I should say. And then we're going to go to Shy Moss Cedars. But first, we're going to have to deal with that incursion, which is happening in four days. So we don't know where it's going to hit. So that's going to be something uh, of interest. So, anyway, I'm going to cut this episode here because this battle might take a while. In the next episode, we will do this and continue onward. I hope that building a bridge over a river doesn't take as many days as uh, building this pass did. And it would be useful to have one here as well, but um, we'll have to wait and see how we how we uh, do all this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in Rumi's Claws, or the tale of Rumi's Claws, I should say, <laughs> come out in three to four days a week. Wow, I'm completely blank here <laughs> at 8 p.m. CET. And I will see you next time.